Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Aurea and this is DIY with Aurea. Today I'm participating of an open challenge, recreation, inspiration. I'll tell you about that a little later, but now let's get started with project number one. I have this little board from Dollar Tree, along with this stencil that says Hello Fall. I'm filling it in with brown acrylic paint, and I'll give it one coat. Today's projects are going to be nice and simple and easy to make. So make sure that if you decide to create something like this, tag me on my Instagram so I am able to see your creations. go ahead and retouch this because not all the ink penetrated the stencil. I cut these painter sticks to size and with this melted chocolate acrylic paint I'm going to give it one coat to both of them. Now with some hot glue I'm going to place them on either side. If you are stopping here for the first time, this is my little girl Diva. She is 11 and she is my crafty partner. You're always going to see her in my videos. If you don't see her, for sure you'll see her tail waggling all over. And now back to this. I have these transferable leaves from Dollar Tree. I bought these I don't know, maybe a year or two ago. I have not seen them recently, but I'm going to be placing three of them and I will place them wherever I think they look nice. And this is it for this hello sign or hello fall sign. And I am going to be putting some chew twine back here with some hot glue. I'm going to also put a little bit of scotch tape to just secure it in there. And that is it. Let me know in the comment section your thoughts. Today I'm participating of an open challenge, recreation, inspiration, and it is being hosted by Amanda, Six Kiss, and a glue gun, along with Katie, Lady Red Crafting, and Charlene, Crafty Art Shack. I'm going to be leaving the links directly to their channels down in my description box along with the playlist. Please make sure to visit them and show them a lots of love by subscribing, sharing, and liking. Also, don't forget to watch their videos all the way until the end so you will miss any of their inspiration. And now let's continue with project number two. I went to one of my local Dollar Trees and they are moving locations so they have everything 25 and 50 cents. Most of the crafting supplies. And I bought this for 50 cents. I'm going to come in and I am going to be painting it with this khaki color and I'll give it one coat. I'm cutting these popsicle sticks, only the round part of it, because I'm going to be extending the roof. And you saw that popsicle, how it flew. And I will be giving it one coat with brown acrylic paint. 
And here I am trying for Diva not to put her tail on the acrylic paint, so I have to move it out of her way. You see that? So let's go ahead and continue to paint both of these popsicle sticks completely in brown. Once that is done, I decided to go ahead and paint the border of this beautiful frame only because I thought it would look nicer. Moving along, I'm gonna go ahead and start placing the popsicle sticks up here to extend the roof. And now with the white chalk paint, I'm gonna go ahead and distress the entire piece. With these wood slides from Dollar Tree, I'm going to be using three. I'm going to go ahead and paint the middle section with this acrylic orange paint. Then once it's completely dry, I'll be coming in and I will be gluing two of them side by side and then one on top. And with this khaki color, I'm going to try to create a couple of lines just to make it look more like a pumpkin. With this little piece of wood, I'm going to go ahead and cut it to size and this is going to be the patenko or the stem. I'm also going to be gluing this leaf with some hot glue right here along with the pumpkin. Look at how beautiful these leaves are. These are stickers from Dollar Tree. I'm gonna take this one and I'm gonna put it on the other side. And look at how beautiful. I really like this piece. I also have this raffia bowl that I made off camera and I will put it up here. And this is it for this beautiful DIY. Please let me know in the comment section your thoughts. And if you like it, don't forget that big thumbs up. Moving along to project number three. I have this beautiful piece that I bought at Dollar Tree some time ago. I'm going to go ahead and begin by distressing it with white chalk paint. This galvanized truck, I'm going to give it two coats with this khaki color. Now that everything is completely dry, I'm gonna go ahead and put three Jenga blocks behind this little truck and then with more hot glue, I'm gonna glue it to the frame. I'm gonna add some of this brown acrylic paint to give it a little bit more definition to this pumpkin. Once that is done, I'll come in with a wipey and I will wipe out a little bit of the brown just to give it sort of like a shadow. So let's go ahead and cut this pumpkin in half and then once it's cut in half I'm gonna go ahead and glue it right on top of or I should say right behind the pickup truck but before then I'm gonna go ahead and add some leaves I'm also going to be adding a couple of these orange berries here and there.
And with the brown acrylic paint, I'm just gonna go ahead and touch the tires just to give it a little definition. And this is it. I also wanna remind you of the playlist down below. Once you're done with this video, make sure to go ahead and visit these talented ladies along with the playlist. You will not regret it. Moving right along with project number four and five. I purchased two of these pumpkins. They are plastic from Dollar General. One of them I'm going to be painting with this blush color. Then I'll distress it with white chalk paint. The second one I am going to be using white chalk paint and then I will be distressing it with the blush color. And this will be a very simple yet beautiful DIY, if you could really call it that. Before I wrap up today's video, I want to express my heartfelt gratitude to each and every one of you for joining me on this journey. If you are new here, I'd be thrilled if you could hit that subscribe button, share this content, and give me that big thumbs up. To my loyal return subscribers, your support means the world to me. Thank you for being part of this amazing community. And now what you've been waiting for, the final reveal. I hope you enjoy it, and I will see you in my next video. Stay. Even for a moment, that's okay Even if the sky is turning gray Ooh. Hey